You know, cannabis law is one of those subjects that I try to touch on quite often because I've had enough, um, you know, and it doesn't really matter to me because I'm just going to ignore the law anyway. Before I get into this, I want to remind you that you're supposed to be doing the same thing. All of you that praise the founding fathers and are sure, okay, you don't even listen to them. Thomas Jefferson, if a law is unjust, a man is not only right to disobey it, he is obligated to do so. Now, you may say, well, Kevin, that's not a law. And Kevin's going to say to you that if you need the right thing written down on paper for you to understand it or follow it, then you you need to get yourself some help. you got a lot of soul searching to do. Okay, but I'm not here to attack anybody. I'm here to wake you up. But I'm not wasting any more time. I saw this post uh, just yesterday. Mexican courts um, have... Uh, Voted 4 to 1 that banning the consumption and cultivation of cannabis for personal use violates the human right to free development of one's personality. I agree with that. But I also know that mainstream society is going to ignore this even if they see it. Uh, that's why I'm not going to bother reading it to you. The, you know, um, I'm not. But it is. But being able to explore your personality. Uh, mainstream sheep will say could infringe on other people's rights and so you can't do it and and so you're still oppressed I want to simply just show you all these links that I've saved over the last couple of years to try to wake people up and um, all of them I believe have been shared through video at one time or another but I, I'm sick of uh, putting in this much work to defend a simple human right. It, it's my belief that we as a society have mutated in, in a way that we don't even recognize. There are hundreds of cannabinoid receptors throughout the body and especially in the brain. Those, those receptors are responsible for the transfer of information between systems and in the brain it also helps regulate the flow of information there also uh, help control pain and there are indications that certain diseases are also cured um, with the use of cannabis uh, so not only um, you know does it do things like expand the mind um, increase your artistic uh, you know a flair you might say but anyway I want to go through these links just a quick word about each one of them I'm not going to put any of them below you can do the research yourself or you can just put a comment and request a link that you see here now um, but this this should be uh, pretty heavy in, in a good way to just give you a full scope of what's going on with cannabis law and uh, hopefully get people one to to just ignore the law it's your right you must ignore the law um, and to get others to change the law so that those people that don't want to violate law don't have to um, flee the United States as fast as you can this was uh, a link that um, I'll just open it quickly I'm not going to read it to you but uh, one um, uh, sorry um, ex-cop wants you to flee the United States as fast as you can and teaches people how to uh, deliver marijuana um, and not get caught. So let's move along, huh? Okay. Oh, first of all, I, I, let's go to the funny first. This was an Oregon Craigslist today. Free 420, just pay for the delivery. Because you can give away pot now that it's legal. Uh, you can't sell it without, you know, all that governmental taxation and licensing and all that. But you can give it away free. So this is an awesome idea. <laughs> All you got to do is pay the delivery charge. That's outstanding. Let's uh let's go get to these links cuz there's a lot of them here. Uh patent cannabinoids as an antioxidant in neuroprotectants. So there's already patents on it. We, okay. 
Uh, seven facts you didn't know about legalizing cannabis. Uh, pretty interesting there. Harvard researcher explains how cannabinoids protect the brain from HIV. John F. Kennedy smoked medical marijuana in office to relieve pain. How to make cannabis oil without blowing up your house. This is great, uh, especially on the cancer side of things. But, but I, again, ultimately, to me, with the research that I've done, I see uh, cannabis as being just as important, probably more important, than vitamin C or any of your vitamins. And now we're going to call out you Christians. I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit. Okay, every herb bearing seed, every one, they're there. Uh, weed smokers are slower, safer drivers. This was a study put out by insurance agencies because they wanted to uh, be able to charge more for people that smoke pot in states like Colorado when legalization first started coming out. Phoenix Tears, um, this website is... Um, an awesome website to check out. This will teach you how to make cannabis oil um, and give you a lot of information. Um, marijuana may be the key to healing the injured brain rather than, you know, put them on pharmaceuticals and stick them in psychiatric wards. I mean, hey, who knows? Marijuana smoothie. We need to start incorporating marijuana in our diets. Like I said, uh, one of these links here is going to tell you that there are over 260, I believe, cannabinoid receptors in the body, and they help the transfer of information between your muscles and your and your all that stuff. I mean, I, I'm not a doctor, but it, it's very clear when you read this that, that human beings, and you think about it, it's been made uh, illegal in this country since, you know, like the 1930s. Um, it's really been greatly removed, and, and I, I think that we have suffered from it. I, I think humans have mutated, and with that mutation, um, you lose something. You lose some physical ability, and I think you have lost some mental ability. And if you don't think that's true, well, look around at society, okay? <laughs> Society's losing its mind. It can't comprehend simple things. It's getting more and more angry. Hey, you tell me. Medical marijuana is safe for children? Absolutely. In that doesn't mean set your kid down with a big thumb-sized joint and let them smoke it day after day after day. But do the research. Uh, normal.org, you just, the, great, uh, this article in, uh, let's see, this one I forget, I didn't label it, so let's find out so you know what's here, because a lot of this stuff is just very powerful, recent research on medical marijuana, look at all this stuff, look at all this, all this stuff you're taking pills for right now, absolutely you are, absolutely. Okay, let's get back to it. Uh, Six-year-old Charlotte Fiji uses medical marijuana to help treat epilepsy and seizures. You'll see uh, quite a few posts, and this is actually mainstream media here, Huffington Post. Medical marijuana for pain and depression. Um, you know, no more Prozac for you. No more Prozac. Uh, human studies on medical use of marijuana. Um, a lot of studies. Lots of studies out there cannabinoids as medical treatment for attention deficit disorder like I said those cannabinoid receptors help the transfer of information in the brain and people that are attention deficit um, it, it's because the information is moving too fast and, the, and their brain can't sort it out so the cannabinoids uh, slow that flow of information think about putting a hundred people into the, a doorway all at once you can't do it but if they stay single file you get them in fairly quickly efficiently and and so that's the, the simple way to understand what's going on with our kids and the hyperactivity you know the pills that you're giving them are killing them slowly and shutting down parts of their mind but you could be treating them uh, with some leafy greens some smoothies have a nice day. Uh, anyway, healing properties of cannabis. Uh, here's a lot more stuff. There's just so much. Higher uh, 10 studies the government wished it had never funded. I don't think you need to hear any more to know exactly what's going on there. Your government has intentionally hidden the facts about cannabis law because it affects so many industries. So many. And they're all 
controlling your government right now. Uh, cannabis may prevent organ transplants from being rejected. That's that's pretty critical for some of you. Um, something to think about at least. And, and for others that don't care about it, at least by now you should get it that you don't have a right to keep this from anybody. You, you have to stand up. This is a human rights issue. And if you can't stand up for something so simple as this, then you just Kneel and chains. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, this one, uh, I believe, was also related to seizures. Ah, uh, they took it down. Well, that's fine. Um, have to. Let's see. All kinds of stuff here. America's war on marijuana. Henry Ford's hemp plastic car ten times stronger. Uh, let's see. Activation of cannabinoid receptors may treat Alzheimer's. Uh, again, 10 studies, 10 other studies um, related to, uh, oh, I have that in there twice, so let's get rid of that. Uh, scientists explain how acupuncture works. I thought that was uh, marijuana related, but we can get that out of here too. THC increases brain activity in response to positive stimuli. Suicide rates fall when states legalize medical marijuana. Sheriff testifies on legalization of marijuana. Uh, many officers, many officers out there support marijuana legalization. They're just not able to speak out because they'll be fired and they still need to feed their families. Um, I say still stand up. Compound found in marijuana shown to turn off cancer. You'll see a lot about cancer uh, throughout the internet and other places. Marijuana less likely to elevate vehicle crash risk as compared to other substances. There's another study that shows you Beyond a shadow of a doubt, marijuana smokers are actually safer behind the wheel than most of you, even if you don't even smoke cigarettes. You're so distracted and your brains aren't able to process information the way they're supposed to. If you just slowed down a little bit, you'd be fine. Cannabis destroys leukemia cells. Um, expert testifies cannabis helps slow aging. Uh, marijuana is the most medicinal plant that we know of. Uh, marijuana smoke does not adversely affect the lungs. Uh, here's a guide on some ideas to uh, regulate cannabis, way to become a wholesaler of hemp. And that's the other side of the issue too. We haven't even talked about the hemp and all the industries and the jobs it could create and the cleansing of the environment. And I've got a bunch of hemp links as well. Um, 700 medical uses 700 medical uses from a plant that anyone could grow in their home and you still insist that it should be illegal and people should be thrown in jail and you're even willing to pay for that assholes absolute assholes no le uh, legalizing medical marijuana does not lead to crime and it doesn't there's tons of studies out there already even though this is fairly new um, full story of why it's illegal. Hmm. You might want to know that. I bet you can't answer that question to yourself. And if you can, you better start voting to support. Marijuana legalization in Colorado, one-year status report. Uh, medical marijuana laws do not increase teen use. I know that's a big deal to a lot of you. And uh, it's not going to increase. It, it's probably going to keep them safer, folks. Uh, it'll take a little time. Uh, to get it off the streets and into the hands of responsible adults who are regulating it. But, you know, um, up until they're 18 or whatever, that's a, a parent issue. You, you parents need to be thinking about this and deciding, uh, you know, this is probably more important than a sex talk, actually. Um, two sentences, 15-year-old uh, boy proves why some kids need cannabis in two sentences. 15 year old explains it uh cooking with weed because again your your body needs this this is more important than some vitamins um marijuana study counters the gateway theory uh, and most of you know that it wasn't marijuana that got you all fucked up in your life it was probably the alcohol 
or the depression that the marijuana could have cured. Right. Yeah, the depression led to the alcohol. Right. Okay, but if we're talking about gateway drugs, it's either alcohol or sometimes cigarettes could be seen as a gateway drug. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, another one that doesn't impair lung function, mental marijuana, how marijuana affects the brain, uh, marijuana for depression and bipolar disorder, uh, more on ma you put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus and you've got to make it stop and you've got to indicate to the people who run it to the